Top Cat 100, the 100 mob. We already back up in the building. Now, you already know we're going to touch up on this meat meal situation with the tennis court thing. And we seeing a lot of things that was happening. And, you know, a lot of people got a lot of distaste in their mouth because they seen this. Now, I want to say this. Now, a lot of people's getting on his head due to the ATL water boy thing, and they seen how he handled it and stuff like that. And a lot of people and a lot of reports when I looked into it felt like that them water boys was aggressive. And this is where the aggressive word come from when you talk about um, the ATL water boys and stuff like that. But the whole meat meal situation that I want to point out is that this whole tennis court thing leads up to that as well because it's like you done already did that, so now... People is looking at you as the kid from Philly that came off the block that actually was a little bit more rougher looking than the ATL water boys. So they feel like you should have came and understood it a little bit more different than just the average working Joe even. You see what I'm saying? Like they just felt like you could have did more and you could. And you said that you wasn't giving them young boys no smoke to go out there and cop no money to go out there and cop smoking. We understand all that, but at the end of the day, you know, when you help somebody, you don't worry about what they're going to do with the money. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, and that's what a lot of people got to realize. But what you're doing these things up on the tennis court, what you just did was now you're making these billionaires. They have stories to tell their great, great grandkids and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And what if y'all fall out and we all know if you're not as hot as you are, that you'll never be able to go around these men anymore anywhere. They're not going to even allow you around. The only reason why they allow you around is because the affiliation with you and Jay-Z. And that's why I think it come from. And I'm not saying that he can't do it off his own merit, but at the end of the day, if y'all not cool no more, and we all know that most people in them positions that's billionaires are opportunists, and they all messing with what's hot and stuff like that, then what they just made you did was, even though y'all friends and stuff like that, what they going to do is they going to make it like if y'all ain't cool no more that they just humiliated another you know, black brother. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and, you know, maybe they didn't take it like that right now, but as they get older and stuff like that, you never know how they might use that. You never know how they might feel. So at the end of the day, if I'm hanging around people and stuff like that, and we make a bet like that, and I'm a rap artist, is a big statue like you are, what I'm going to do is I ain't doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? If I lose, then, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have to just get it how you live, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to sling them things, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm just going to have to, you know what I'm saying, ass bet, I guess. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We all did it before, if you know what I mean. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I make a bet, I lose, I don't do what I said I was going to do. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, at that point is, do you fight better than me? You know what I'm saying? And if you can't fight better than me, then guess what? I ain't doing what you want to see. You understand what I'm talking about? So that's how Meet Mill should have handled it. And if you want me out your yard, you know what I'm saying, we're going to play another game of tennis before you even try to do that that's how i would be rocking you see what i'm saying but i wouldn't let them do that and then hide that above my head just to know that they made me do that and if i did hold on to the bet he should have just at least said look man i'm you not recording me you know what i'm saying don't nobody better not record me real talk that's how he should have been but hey that's just my analysis, man. I just wanted to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all drop y'all comments on how that made him look, on how y'all would have handled it, or what y'all think should have happened. Because at the end of the day, I'm just not going to hold on to my bargain of the bet. What you going to do, beat me up or stop hanging around me? It is what it is, man. I'm out, man. It's the 100 mob, man, at all times.